Alright, hello everyone, it is me, Saksuma, on the Dribble Studios account. Today, in this video, we're doing part 5. Part 5 on the Cat Castaway Stranded series, or the, or the how to create a 2D survival game on Scratch. Now, obviously, I do things my way. You can do them other ways, but I do them my way. And so... We're going to be creating a inventory system. Now, the inventory system is a system which allows the player to store stuff on them without having to see it, without clicking a certain button. If that's the way, you, you, is it just like you should know what an inventory system is. So you want to make a new sprite. Uh, I'm going to paint it, obviously, because there will be no inventory system thing. Convert to bitmap and make the screen black. You may be wondering, hmm, why is the screen black? Well, the screen is black for a very specific reason. Um, it just means that once we make the inventory system, we can make it transparent and everything will be fine. So now we want to create the boxes for the items. Uh, I'm not sure how many we'll have. Hmm. Alright, just try and make them as... Just try and make it as neat as possible. Alright, that's that's fine. So right now we're gonna currently only have three boxes of inventory space. And the first thing you wanna do is make it hide when the green flag is clicked. I think that's pretty much simple. And then you wanna make it go to the front layer. Now the reason why we wanna make it go to the front layer is because if something's in front of it, it will look really weird and it shouldn't really Now, the first thing that we want to do is make it so it will appear when a backdrop is a certain backdrop. And now I'm currently being spammed. Stop! Stop spamming me. Alright, so, sorry about that, um, today in this video, I'm, why am I starting it again? <laughs> so, the first thing that we want to do is, I think it's fairly simple, we want, when green flag clicked, I know we're having two, it doesn't really make sense, we just want a forever, a forever block. Uh, I'm not sure if this will work, because I'm trying to do it so it only works on uh, the backdrop, Game Screen what 2, and others. So, we want to go back over here. Forever. If, then. Then you want to go to Operators. Grab this one, blank equals 50. That is probably the one that we are going to use the most. And then you want to go back to looks, scroll all the way down, and see this backdrop number. We want to do that. If backdrop number equals, and then backdrop number is 5 for us, you're going to have to check though, it, sh it will be this black number in the top left corner on the backdrop tab of backdrops. So it is number 5 for us, which is good. It's good, it's good, it's good. I want to select the thing again. If backdrop number equals 5, then, now we want another if then, then we want to go to sensing. Then you want to grab this key space pressed. You want to drag that and plop it in there. This may look complicated, but it is really, really simple. More complicated stuff would have a lot more stuff involved in this. 
if the key space pressed and then what key do we want uh let's just say e that's a good inventory key if e pressed then we want to show however if key and then we want i think another control and this probably won't work but we are this is all about experimenting if key pressed and then we want e again we want it to hide and then we want another green flag block just duplicate that it's really simple and then go to looks again and we want set we might have to move this over a bit. Yep. Set ghost effect to 75. So now, as you can see, if back number equals 5, then if E pressed, then show. Then if E pressed again, then hide. Because it's loading. And it doesn't work. But that's all, that's fine, it's all about experimenting, so if I click this, click E, it doesn't work. God sake. So we're just going to do it the simple way. Yay. Yay. So you want to go to when backdrop switches to game screen 2, if E pressed then show, and then you want another one saying if... Don't know which key do we want. Uh, let's just say not too sure. Let's just say R. If R press, then hide. So does it work? No. So we want to go to Control, repeat until. You know, this is a bit. This might get a bit complicated. So we want um, this one here, the OR block. As you can see, there's two things. So now we want to grab two of these. Because they're quite simple. Wait, no, we don't want that. We want to get rid of those, and then you want the less than, greater than, sorry, and then less than. It doesn't matter which order you put it in, but I will do it in this order. You want to go looks, and then you want to get two backdrop numbers. So this is really quite big. So then you want to do 5, just make it say 5, and then 5 again. Repeat until backdrop equals backdrop number is greater than 5, or backdrop number is less than 5. So that should work now. Let's freeze play. Hopefully this works. Yep, as you can see it works. We can move around while we're in our inventory. So the inventory works. Kind of looks like a three-bedded pillow. I think this is good. Alright, so now we can save it. And we want to go down to Sprite 1 and rename it in then. I'm going to go to costumes and rename it inventory and then I'm going to grab some white text and just write inventory right, I'm going to retype that and I accidentally put two words this keyboard is so sensitive inventory there we go Now, I wouldn't recommend stretching it out all the way, but I'm just going to have it there. Nice title. Nothing bad at all. So now we want to go 
code and if we click ER in the menu, nothing works. So it seems to work, the inventory system does seem to work. Uh, so first of all now we are going to now add some extra items. So let's go to create a new sprite. And let's just draw a circle. It can be grey. Doesn't really matter. There you go. And now, now you want to just kind of change the way that how it looks. Just want to try and make it look like a rock. There we go. This isn't the perfect rock, but just want to rename it rock. And we want to shrink it, so click on this. Oh, first of all, let's rename it so we don't forget what it is. And on size, you want to make it 50. Ah, it's a bit too big. 10. A bit too small. Um, 25. Ah, a bit too big. 20. 20 is the perfect size for your rock if you do it this size like me, you just deform it, it's fine. So you just kind of want it there and then you have to do the same thing again. Now this does get a bit rep repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. It, it, it keeps happening over and over again. When backdrop switches to game screen 2, we want it to show. And instead of having it in one fixed position, we now are going to create a random thing. So you want to go to motion, and then you want go to, and then you want to keep the Y the same. The Y is what is important because that's up and down. X and Y is just fine. So you want go to random. Don't connect it just yet because you might forget what the coordinate is. So you want minus 10, let's say, to minus 31. That's not too extravagant extravagant sorry jeez I can't speak today I'm using some big words that I wouldn't usually use but you know so now the rock will go to a random position as you can see it was as you saw it was there which is kind of what we want uh, as you can see it, it didn't move actually I think it did move either way it's random, it is fine. So now we want to make this guy uh, on top forever. So let's just. Where is it? I've lost it. There it is. Go to front layer, just hook that up to uh, either one of these. It really doesn't matter. And if we click E, it doesn't work because it's not playing. Yes, of course it doesn't. Ugh, oh, silly me. Um, and then we want to duplicate the rock script here and get rid of the random effect rock. And then you want to get rid of this. And then you want to, when space key pressed, you want to remember your e press, your inventory is your, your inventory key. And you want to open that up and then you want to rename this rock in... So it would just be the inventory rock, which is basically going to be the same for every item that you can pick up. So when E key pressed, now we want a uh, show. So go to look, get show, and yeah. Now it does show there. So we're going to have to get rid of that, and unfortunately we're going to have to do this one. We're going to have to copy this script. It's not unfortunate, but go into your backpack, 
down here and drag it into your backpack and it will just duplicate it. Go over to Infoc and drag that script drag 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 that script inside of there. And so when the game screen equals two, if backdrop repeat until backdrop number is blah 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 blah. It really doesn't matter. Now we want it to go to the certain position in the inventory where we want it. Now we are going to assign the inven the rock to a certain place. Uh, so as you can see, it's not there. Click here. It's not there. And for some reason, this isn't working. No. Yeah, so testing this is quite a bit of a annoying thing because we have to go through all of this. This is why I didn't have this in my first game. But it just gives you a little bit of the story. We're not going to have a story, obviously, but, you know. So now if we click E, we, we want the, the rock to go somewhere else. So, if we quickly put him to the front, make him go there, and let's make his size 75, and let's make his size 50, there we go, and now the rock is there. So we want to go motion, and then we want to hook that up to the one green flag clicked, and there we go. So basically now... That is the end of the today's tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please do leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.